the idea that either um, you're a sucker or you want entertainment. Sorry, you know, suckers also want entertainment, and so do other kinds of people. This is entertainment, and so I agree. It's spectacle. People are interested, and let me tell you why. Because as I mentioned yesterday in greater detail, people are interested in fighting. It is literal. It's not metaphorical. It's literal. One person wins, the other loses. It's the imp literal imposition of will physically on the other person. And we sell sports, and people understand the world through stories, through narrative. And in order to tell an interesting story, you need interesting characters. You need to be emotionally invested in them. You need to know what's at stake for them. The problem is in combat sports, the two most famous, the two crossover stars, the two characters who people know don't participate in the same sport. They know Floyd Mayweather in boxing. They know Conor McGregor in mixed martial arts. Fortunately, they happen to be around the same size. And so they're fighting each other. And as I've mentioned, you can't kind of split the difference between the octagon and the squared circle, the ring. There's no hexagon for them to fight in. And so because there's more money for everybody involved at the moment in boxing, for this to happen in boxing, it's taking place as a boxing match. So it is spectacle. It will be a lot of fun. Everyone's going to buy it, including me, including you. Everyone's going to buy this thing, of course. But, so, so that's the spectacle component. The sucker comes in here. You actually think Connor has a chance to win? People think Connor's going to win. People are arg trying to argue with me on Twitter that Connor is going to beat Floyd Mayweather Max, in a fight. Max, 37% will, you played, said it. It's crazy. Well, it's unbelievable. Will, those are the suckers. So if you come expecting a competitive sporting event where one guy actually might win, Conor McGregor, then you're a sucker. If you come expecting spectacle and essentially a boxing exhibition from Floyd, you know what you're getting into. There's overlap in these sports, but they're not the same thing. Will, you played water polo. Do you think you could beat a guy who swam at your level in college but was a, a, a who raced you, in college? Have in the you pool? once in our relationship noticed any humility in my game? Do you think I'd actually say someone could beat me? Yeah, well, you know what I mean. No, and I you saw get... you yesterday make this analogy. I watch the show when I'm not around. I get your right. point. Right, and, and right. You would get whooped just like you just got whooped. <laughs> just the same way. Yeah. Stephen A. Well, you lost me because you brought up a hexagon and then your water polo, and I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Here's the deal, okay? <laughs> There is no sucker in all of this. Do you know why? Because it's not about whether you believe Connor or Floyd is going to win. It's about wanting to see it because they talk so much smack, somebody is likely going to fall, and you just want to watch it. Thank you. I mean, a lot of times you might very, very well know the outcome. You still want to see it. Dan Lebertard, my buddy, my brother, the bottom line is he's wrong because he's assuming that there are an abundance of people out there outside of Ireland and outside of the UFC. He believes that there are an abundance of other people elsewhere who legitimately believe that Conor McGregor is going to win this fight. And they don't exist. Not outside of Ireland and the UFC. They don't exist. And any MMA sport, they don't exist. They know. Anybody that knows boxing knows better than to think. Conor McGregor is going to win. But you still want to see it. You still want to see what's going to happen. It's intrigue. It's just, you know, you, you're just wondering. You're curious as to what it's going to look like, how it's going to be. Is Conor going to come in there talking smack? Is he going to sit up there standing like the world is his and Floyd Mayweather is just living in it? Is Floyd going to take it? Or is Floyd going to come at him? Is he going to try to school him and give him a boxing lesson? Or is he going to try to knock him out? You know Conor's going to stalk him. How quick will he fall? Stuff like that. That doesn't mean that you think that the outcome is going to be any differently than the rest of us, but you still want to see it, just like you want to see the car accident. There's the same Dan Levitard that's so quick to say, people want to see the car. I mean, you think you guys are cerebral. Sit down for five minutes with Dan Levitard. I mean, my Lord. I mean, it's just on another level. And this guy will sit there, and he'll be quick to tell you how, hey, look, people want to see the car crash. They want to see it. They know it's coming. They're just waiting for it. Well, this is the quintessential car crash coming your way. You just want to see it. That doesn't make them suckers. That means that's just what they want. Right. The idea, What's the problem? 
The idea that we're suckers by wanting to see this is that we're getting hoodwinked, right? We're getting fooled yeah. into something. That's what that's what right. Dan Lebert meant. We're getting, we're getting hoodwinked, hoodwinked. Right. bamboozled, no, led right. astray, run what we're amok. Up that's for. what he meant. But by the way, <laughs> I think also. Okay, everyone admits, from Max Kellerman to, to Dan Lebetard, that there's some small, slight percentage of a chance that we're going to call the, the, the puncher's chance, right? Max, you can yeah, put 1%. a number on it. No. 1%. 1%, no, 0.5%. No, no, Conor McGregor has no chance at all. So 0%, Max. He said Max. 0. 0% Will, 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 right, Will he said 0. He said 0. I said 1%. Well, you're right, because Stephen I give, A. I always me. give a punch of 1%. There's, there's nothing is at a 0% chance. Nothing. Yeah, there's no absolute. There's no such thing as a 0% chance. And here's what's on the line, by the way, Max. It's statements like your own. You know, what's on the line here, number one, is first of all, Floyd Medweather's claim to greatest of all time. If that 1% or 0.5% chance exists, that's what the potential risk is to it. It's your, Max, it's your bold proclamation and all those that preceded it. And more important than that, it's the sport of boxing. The sport of boxing is on the line here. Because oh, yeah. if, if that 0.5% chance, maybe it's a 0.01% chance, whatever it is, if it comes true, the idea that a man could walk in from, as you said, an entirely different sport, completely unqualified to Terrible do this. Terrible for boxing. What's that? Terrible for boxing if that happens. Perhaps, there's tr perhaps there's tremendous downside. Perhaps yeah. an ending punch for the entire sport. Well, that no, big a deal. people have been predicting the demise of boxing, the permanent demise forever, and that's never going to happen. It'll always be around. But yes, boxing would take a literal. Uh, Mayweather would take the literal shot, and boxing would take the metaphorical one. I mean, it, it would be disastrous for boxing if that Pretty were to happen. Pretty big stakes. And you're right. You're right. Nothing is zero percent because the universe is fundamentally probabilistic. There is a chance that all the oxygen molecules in each one of the studio rooms in which we are now sitting wind up in the waste paper basket. That's quantum physics. There's a chance that happens. It's one in a trillion to the trillionth to the trillionth power, but there's a chance. And that's similar to Conor McGregor's chance to beat Floyd Mayweather. So if we all simultaneously start suffocating because of a random event like that, you'll get the idea of like are, that Matt. could happen hey, too. We are actually I'm glad right we now. Cleared that up.